comes down to it, but uh, I think I'll be able to gain great power position and uh, move all these countries into my sphere of influence and then basically annex all of them over time. So I have rebel factions. I have a minimum wage movement, apparently. That, that's cool, I guess. So there you go, the Mughal Empire has ceased to exist. They've been conquered by everyone around them, <laughs> and they've ceased to exist. So that's fun. So there we go, I'm starting to get some troops. Let's bring them together in Delhi. Where, there's tons of Punjabi people living in Delhi. So I'm thinking we conquer these guys, conquer these guys, conquer these guys, and then push into Bengal. Kind of a race to the sea. We push this way to Calcutta. Um, I can use propaganda, or I can restore the calm. I lose two consciousness throughout the country. Why would I want to do that? That five prestige is, uh... Tempting. I think I'm going to go with the 5 Prestige just to bring me up to um, number 10. What's my overall score in this game? Uh, actually, I can look via the ledger. That might be the easier way of doing it. Here we go. Um, just by a total score. I'm 11th. So, it's me, Sweden, who's a failing great power... No, hold on, let me, I should probably do this by uh, prestige. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, there we go. This is not, here we go. Here are the great powers. It's Austria-Hungary. We all know that. Where, where are the secondary power? Here we go. So Bavaria is the only secondary power above me. And their overall score is actually lower than mine. Which means I should be moving up soon. Oops. I didn't want to click that. I like how the Empire of Mexico is behind me. How are they doing, actually? Uh, U.S. is still okay. The Empire of Mexico is in the sphere of <laughs> the United States. Japan has just changed to Japan. They're not Imperial Japan anymore. It's just Japan. Um, the French have moved in. The Dutch are conquering Indonesia slowly. Do, 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 do. So, uh, right now we wait after having a nice, uh, well, nice, successive, more rather, war with the, uh, the Mughal Empire bringing uh, a great victory upon us. Being able to capture a large uh, portion of their empire, of their region, and just really having a foothold in India proper instead of just like in Pakistan slash Afghanistan let's see what the world's doing well, Austria lost that war and lost Venice Austria meanwhile is getting destroyed by everyone they need to have a tighter alliance with uh, the Germans Oh, and I have uh, more things. I think people wanted minimum wage, so let's do minimum wage. Okay, that didn't do anything. Glad I did that. Let's uh, spend more money and let's lower tariffs a little bit here. 
just because my middle class is hurting. I don't want, you know, 40% of the people in the entire country that consider yourself middle class. They're, they're doing worse off than the poor are doing in my country. Uh, let's also jack education and administration. That'll help. And we're still making money. So that's all good. So Bengal would not ally me. Wow, Bengal's a secondary power. That's crazy, guys. I'm feeling scared now. Bengal, man. I'm really scared. They went to a secondary power. And their flag is cooler than mine. <laughs> guys, I don't know if we can make it. Look at Sweden, 59. Sweden's losing great power. I might actually ascend to great power status sometime here soon. And uh, when I'm due, all these countries, including Tibet, is they're all going to be in my sphere of influence. And then maybe, maybe even Burma. Because when you get the the seek wins event I believe this is true it I don't know if they fixed it I did this playing as Germany uh, with Denmark but if you get the seek wins event while forming India the co all countries in your sphere of influence all I think it's all neighboring countries in your sphere of influence basically get the call and they become annexed I don't know if it's true for all of them, but as forming Germany, I would always uh, bring Denmark into my sphere of influence. Congress poll. Um, I'd always bring Denmark into my sphere of influence and sometimes uh, the Netherlands and Belgium. And when you get the, the German wins event, it would bring all of them into the empire uh, when forming the German empire. So I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, that'd be really cool, you know. United India, Annex Tibet, and Burma just have a fucking Indian super state. You know, on par, can fight China off. That would be pretty crazy, right? Truly an empire uh, worthwhile. So let's do nationalism and imperialism. Even though I'm falling behind in the Navy and in the Army, it's okay. We'll catch up. I'm sure of it. We definitely need army decision making and point defense system though. These are really, you know, they're just uh, attack and defense modifiers that really don't mean a thing. The only thing that really means here is uh, heavy armament at the end and aeronautics. So you get airplanes and um, here I believe you get tankettes, yes, and light infantry and armored cars. And the, the tankette is like the armor attack. Contentious election. So. Let's see what the election takes us. We've only had one violent. Whoa. Ho ho. Bye bye. I don't know where that was. That was one of these tiny countries. I don't know. It was these guys. Uh, yeah, limit their citizenship. Actually, at this point, I should just be saying uh, citizenship to all to get the socialists in. But the socialists are anti-military, so. Well, they're anti-military. The liberals are just straight-up pacifists. So maybe I should go anti-military. So these guys, and then... Oh, no! Baba Bahadur is dead. He was... He's died of old age. Oh, we have a newspaper. Cool. So let me read this real quick. Like, uh, I'm going to read it in the old timey newspaper voice. So, the abdication of Amadio, King Amadio of Spain, controversial since his ascension, and constantly balked in the royal courts by monarchists advocating a return to the Bourbon line has angrily declared Spain to be unforgivable <laughs> after the Hidalgo affair forced him into conflict with the nation's military and has abducted the throne. Abducted the throne. Yeah. The country is left in chaos and once again without a monarch. So. Uh, Tibet fears our might. 
And that's about it. Vote of no confidence. Damn. All of a sudden, it's Star Wars up in this shit. Whoa, yeah, support the socialists. <laughs> uh, what, what, socialists are anti-militaries. Anti-military. <laughs> like, yeah, we're anti-military after we, you know, brutally invaded, killed, smashed the, uh, <laughs> the Mughals in a decisive war. That's crazy. I actually got a newspaper after all. It was 10 years before I got a newspaper. That's how slow things are moving. So it's 1870. I've been playing this. I don't know. It's been like a couple of years. I think we've been playing since 66, 67. Uh, that's fine. Oh, I have a Kashmiri nationalist. I, I don't particularly care, but okay. So I'm be moving up. I got dropped back down. Why? Oh, uh, because Japan ascended the throne. Damn you, Japan. Their score. 179. I think was mine was 140. That's not what I wanted. Total score. Here we go. Oh, that's why. The um there I am. 144. So we have the four great powers here. Sweden is ninth, I'm tenth. If I can overcome Sweden. So if I get to 180, I'll be able to oust the Japanese from great power status. Um, what are we secularized? I usually, anytime there's an election, I usually just go mid ground. But uh, oh, we got another paper: war between the Netherlands and Shack. Psych. Yeah, anti-military revolution they fear me source of the Nile has been discovered the Swedes found the source of the Nile those damn Swedes unfortunately it wasn't our good uh, Sikh men that found the uh, found the Nile the source of the Nile that's uh raise the tariffs someone apparently is playing battle block theater so it's been a while since I recorded one of these videos. I figured, you know, today is Saturday. I figured, what the hell. Do, do. Huh. So if I can uh, overcome the Swedes, hopefully a war among these guys will throw them out. I think they, I think the, uh, the um, socialists are planned economy. I'm almost certain, actually. Yes. Whoa, the Ottomans. They just annexed something. Empire in crisis. Oh, the conservatives won, but they had to make up a uh, coalition to win. Huh. Pretty crazy. All right. Empire in crisis. The current state of unrest within the Ottoman Empire has reached the point where the Sultan has been advised to abrogate the Constitution. While, the, while there are those who say that such action will only foster more unrest, there are others who look, are all too aware that f yeah, failing to do will make the Sultan look weak. It is beyond the realm of possibility that reactionaries might seek to restore the monarchy by force, or even worse, seek to abolish it altogether. Where in the fucking hell is Oyo? Oyo. Oyo. Some country I don't care about. So, there we go. I'll end it on June 7th, 1870. Uh, thanks. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, 
you can leave a like, you can comment, hey, you can even subscribe. You could even follow me on Twitter. Those are all things you can do. I'm not saying you should, but you can do those. Um, and until next time, you should stay tuned.